Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to take you on a journey through the sunflower farming process, from beginning to harvesting. Sunflowers are not only beautiful to behold, but they also provide a valuable source of oil and nutrition. Before we get started, let's learn a little bit about sunflowers. The sunflower, scientifically known as Helianthus annuus, is an annual plant with a large daisy-like flower face. Its name comes from the Greek words helios, meaning sun, and anthos, meaning flower. Sunflowers are heliotropic, meaning they turn their flowers to follow the movement of the sun across the sky. Sunflowers come in various colors, but the most common ones have bright yellow petals with brown centers that ripen into heavy heads filled with seeds. These stunning flowers can grow to be as tall as 16 feet, or as short as 15 inches, depending on the variety. Now, let's talk about where sunflowers are grown. Russia, Ukraine, and Argentina are the top sunflower production countries in the world. There are thousands of commercial and improved varieties of sunflowers, each with its own unique characteristics. Some popular sunflower varieties include Giganteus, Lemon Queen, Mammoth Grey Stripe, Autumn Beauty, Italian White, Soraya, and many more. Sunflowers thrive in locations with direct sunlight, requiring about 6 to 8 hours of sunlight per day. They prefer well-drained, fertile soils, such as sandy loam or black soils. The soil pH should be slightly acidic to somewhat alkaline, ranging from 6.0 to 7.5. To prepare the soil, deep plowing and rotivating are recommended. Ridges and furrows or raised beds are most suitable for planting sunflowers. The ideal time for sowing sunflowers is by the end of January. The seeds should be sown 4 to 5 cm deep with a spacing of 30 cm between plants and 60 cm between rows. As the sunflower plants grow, they require both organic and inorganic fertilizers for optimal growth. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are essential nutrients for sunflowers. Adequate soil moisture is crucial during the flowering period, which occurs around seven to eight weeks after emergence. Sunflowers heavily rely on bees for pollination. Honeybees are ideal pollinators for sunflower crops. If honeybees are not available, Alternate day hand pollination during the morning can be done to ensure proper pollination. Now, let's talk about the exciting part, harvesting sunflowers. Sunflowers are ready for harvest when the back of the head turns from green to lemon yellow and the bottom leaves start drying and withering. The harvesting process involves the use of a combined harvester for large scale and manual harvesting also for small scale. Sunflower seeds have numerous uses, from culinary purposes to animal feed and oil production. Sunflower oil, extracted from sunflower seeds, is widely used for cooking and is considered a healthier alternative to other oils. It's low in saturated fats and rich in vitamin E. The whole seeds can be crushed or pressed to obtain sunflower oil, while the remaining cake is used as animal feed. Sunflower seeds, both hold and intact, are popular snacks and are also used in various dishes for their nutritional benefits. They are known to promote hair and skin health, support digestion, and reduce cholesterol levels, among other health benefits. And there you have it, the sunflower farming process from beginning to harvesting. It's incredible to witness how these beautiful flowers transform into a valuable source of nutrition and oil. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the world of sunflower farming. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and keep in touch for more fascinating content.